Alright guys, welcome back to another reaction video. My name is James. I'm Nipper. And today we're going to be continuing our uh, like war movie marathon, so to speak, with Zero Dark Thirty. So this is a movie that I've actually wanted to watch for a long time. I know there was Oscar buzz around it. It's got a pretty big cast. I heard about it. Uh, it's obviously about like the assassination of Bin Laden, which is cool because we've been watching a lot of these things which uh, either I didn't know about or we didn't live through. Mm -hmm. um, and so this is cool because this is obviously something that we lived through, but I don't actually know a lot of the details about, like, I remember hearing about it on the news, you know, SEAL Team 6, stealth helicopters, beyond that, I don't really know any of the details, any of the backstory as to how it happened or how they found him or anything like that. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I'm very excited to, to, to watch this movie. Um, so yeah, yeah as I was, full interaction is going to be up to Patreon. Next week's war movie, this movie here is going to be up for early access. Feel free to, to throw some suggestions down in the comments. I know everybody probably has their like favorite, favorite war movie to watch. Um, so let us know what other kind of movies you guys want us to watch here. And yeah, thank you just for being here. Thank you for joining us for watching. If you guys are new here, welcome. Hopefully you stick around and let's just get into Zero Dark Thirty. Yeah. I don't know any of the events or anything leading up to it. I do know no. like some of the, uh, some and I'm the sure there's details. a lot of like bureaucratic uh, uh, lead up. Yeah. Like yeah, with all yeah. of these things, right? Kind I mean, of, and yeah. the mission is the smallest part of any like big project in modern warfare. I feel like it's like, oh, there's all the planning and all the. Just... I mean, and heck, like the search was forever. So it's like, yeah, they could lead up, him. you know. Yeah. Wow. That's cool. Wait, is this uh, real? This is um, 9-11. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was thinking that. I was like, is that where we're going to start? Yeah. Do you remember 9-11? Do I remember it? Uh, barely. Okay. Because I, I wasn't alive. I, I think my parents didn't really want me to like see stuff. It's so hot. I'm burning up. That's a powerful opening. Yep. I mean, it shows you the reason. But I like know. that they didn't show anything. I, it, I like it was just the audio. Yeah. I own you, Amor. You belong to me. This guy's from uh, Planet of the Apes, the second Look at me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a bunch of actors that you'll just see. You I think Chris Pratt's in it. I just you. Really? You step off this mat, I hurt you. If you lie to me, He's, I'm going to hurt you now. Or? I don't know. Look at me, Amor! It just feels like that type of interrogation. It does. Nobody talks to him. Fuck you, that. Are we going to board these windows up or what? Oh, dang. Just off the plane from Washington. I'm going to rock in your best suit for your first interrogation. <laughs> and you get this guy. So that always yeah, this has got to be like CIA. I'm fine. Yeah, that's what it feels like. It's going to take a while. He has to learn how helpless he is. Come on, let's get a coffee. No, we should go back in. What? It was no shame if you want to watch from the monitor. All right. Huh? She's just... You might want to put this on. You're not wearing one? Okay. Is he ever getting out? Never. Let's go. No, God. So was he? <sighs> I mean, I want to know who she is. This is interesting. Right now. Yeah, she doesn't seem like. Well, this it, is about she obviously you. isn't like you. Um, you this is like a first time or situation. Situation. Yeah, but I think she also knows maybe a little bit about this. No, yeah. I could have had you killed in Karachi, but I didn't. I let you live so that you and I could talk. I feel like this is. And your bits me when my hands are tied. Yeah, I feel like this so is not going to work. Our life isn't always fair, my friend. It might. Did you really think that when we got you, I would be a nice fucking guy? <laughs> You're a mid-level guy. You're a garbage man. What should I respect you, huh? And you're a money man. Yeah, are you any different? Paper boy. Huh. A disgrace to humanity. You and your uncle. I have your name on a $5,000 transfer via Western Union to a 9-11 hijacker. Ooh, jeez. That there is Hazem al-Kashmiri. Amar, bro, I know that you know this dude. Just give me his email and I'll give you a blanket and some solid food. I feel like this guy's not going to break. I know. Not without some serious that torture. You know nope. And, and, and we might look, need to go there. Yeah, maybe we need to go there. I you that's, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I don't think that's he's going to break work. from talking, man. Yeah. That's your word. Let's go. When you lie to me, I hurt you. Yeah, see, already look at how he's reacting, man. Yeah, like, it does seem like, like... Already you can tell it's a, it has an effect on him. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Dang. Grab the bucket. She seems not as like... No, she's never done this. Put some water in it. Are they going to waterboard him? Probably, Probably, yeah. like right? They're putting something over his face, right? Come on, give it to me. Asim was a friend of Ramsey Yusuf. She seems more like a higher-up or something that was like, you know, working Sent at the Sent him to look at them or like, something. Yeah. yeah. Or something. Or For a second, I thought she was like more pro than they were or something, but now it's like, no, she's not. Email 
was the rest of the Saudi group. Jeez. That is hardcore. Where was the last time you saw Bin Laden? I, I have time. You don't. I have other things to do, but you don't. <laughs> it's cool, but you're strong. I respect it. I do. In the end, everybody breaks, bro. This guy's so interesting. It's biology. Even just like the way he talks, he keeps saying bro and stuff. It feels real. Yeah, I mean, he just feels more like he's casually doing it. That's what I'm it, saying. Know? Like, it just feels like there's like this real mannerism to it. I like that they don't hide that. No, what, yeah, whatever yeah. you think about it, I, don't, I like that they don't hide that because it's like, look, that stuff happens. That's man. just reality. That's yeah. just reality. It's brutal. It's hardcore. It may not be nice or pleasant or even necessarily like the best call, but that is what happens. No, yeah. Embassies. So she's some sort of like like high government. Official. Yeah, it feels like that, like some high status type of person. Yeah, yeah. Even like a like an overseer. Yeah, I would assume so. It just doesn't feel like she has like feel. No, 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 no. You know, which has got to be crazy, right? To come into that, it's very easy to be to be making calls and decisions and like from an office, from but it, to see yeah. something like that up front, that is hard, and I think it's important too. Okay, I'm some nephew. Yeah. What's his issue? He's been a dick. <laughs> He's trying to outsmart you. Why don't you tell him about your PhD? Yeah. Who is this guy? I thought he was like military. Maybe not. He's tight with his uncle. He's got his principal over 911 money. He's got him in his head and he needs to disclose him. You don't think he's like CIA? I guess you're right. Yeah, that's true. Bill, she's good to go. I'll get her the right one tomorrow. I feel like this is usually their area of expertise. Maya, this is Joseph Bradley, our illustrious station chief. Joe and I did Iraq together. Dang. You volunteered for this, didn't you? No. Oh, really? Jeez. What happened? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Miscommunication or something? I don't know. <laughs> Dang. That does suck to just get thrown into this, that's for sure. You don't think she's a little young for the hard stuff? Washington says she's a killer. I would imagine they're sending her here for a reason. So she's good at something. This dude in Malaysia works with a guy who knows a guy. Oh, here we go. <laughs> he goes to a big feast in Bangkok. Guest of honor? Osama bin Laden. He said it was Tupac there, just... <laughs> <laughs> everyone, hey, it's Maya, Maya, everyone, please don't ask her how it's going with Mara because she's not going to fucking tell me. Uh, Mara's withholding. <laughs> Washington assesses Abu Faraj is officially on your number three. Well, he's the best man for her. Okay. The uh, London station's already asking if he's contacting anybody in the UK. Like we're just keeping it from him? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like seeing this like back and forth. Anything on Bin Laden? Call me on the center of the diamond plane by four guards. Dang. That's supposed to be his royal guard. No, that's pre 9 11 behavior. We have no reason to believe he's changed soldier tactics. We invaded Afghanistan, that's a reason. Yeah. So I got a guy for 5,000 bucks who can have set up a taxi stand. Don't need him, sorry. The diamond side is bullshit. That's crazy to have to work. I mean, it makes sense that that's what you would have to do, but to have to work through all of this kind of stuff. Yeah, L good leads or no is is crazy because you get everything. There's people trying to make money. There's people yeah. who just uh, mean well. All this kind of crap. Like you know, they know so the Americans stuff. got the dough. Of you course, know? Like, yeah. <laughs> I was don't blame oh, you, yeah, man. I know. Get your opportunity to make your money. <laughs> <laughs> He's my cousin, dude. Like. <laughs> Yeah, and then the other thing is on top of that, you have all of the like people who are lying, right? You get bad intel. No, yeah. I mean, you have to figure out everything. It's like, it's rough. I like that they have the music. Because as to my understanding, that's a very effective psychological tactic is like sound. Yeah, I mean, like humans, sensory overload mental and stuff. is yeah. is a big thing. In fact, it's everything in this case. Yeah, it's a lot more than the, the physical. Uh, let's just uh, let's take it easy today, huh? Huh. <sighs> Yeah, talk about a mental game. <laughs> Food in your socks, I'll just you some of this. That's so smart. Richard Reed, I think it's a bomb and a shoe and a blind. You know him, don't you? Yes. Who else is in your Saudi group? <laughs> I just handed out some cash for them. I didn't know who the guys were. When you lie to me, I hurt you. Yeah, I, I don't believe that. Yeah. And in fact, I wouldn't believe the first thing you tell me once you break. Yeah, because it's mean, almost like I, that's what any smart person would try is a yeah. lie or a half truth. I believe. What do I believe? Hmm? Good, huh? Do you want the water again or do you want something else? Hmm. Water? Please just give me a name. I don't know. I don't know. Oof. Come on, let's go. Yeah. Here we go. That's really smart. You see how this works? It, it's horrible, but it's really smart. The way they're doing the like mix of 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 kind of good cop, bad cops. So oh no, yeah, you gotta give him some hope, you know. No? Because then it's like the contrast between the two. It's like, no, that's what you want. Your friend is an animal. Please help me. 
Mm, don't talk no, to don't him. No, don't you don't you even dare talk. Dude, be careful. Be careful. I don't care how vulnerable this guy seems. Be careful. You can help yourself by being truthful. Good. Yeah, I actually didn't expect that. This is a dog collar. Ooh. Waleed has already told me that you know. Do you think he knows? I feel like he knows. Okay. Because I was like, is there a chance that we're just pressing him and he doesn't know? I mean, there's sucks. always that chance, but I feel like no. I feel like put you in. Oh, gosh. When is the attack? What? Come on, what? dude. Come on. Sunday? This Sunday or next Sunday? Where? I mean, that's is important. it this Sunday? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't just say... What? Oh, what? What? Did, did you say that? I can't even hear him. Come on, one more. Oh, no. Oh, he's just messing with yeah. us. Yeah. He's mad. In the box you go. Here we go. Come on, let's go. Come on. Unless it's all those days? Because he didn't days? say. It's true. Which day? But I, mean, I don't know. I want to believe that we don't have to keep doing this. Yeah, but that's too hard to like. <laughs> he's got to be more exact. Come on, which day? Dang, man, that's that's brutal. I mean, listen, it's not as bad as some other stuff. But he, we're actually pretty generous when it comes to that kind of stuff. Oh, holy! Ah, uh, he did we not? Were we not in time? Jeez. See, I actually don't have a lot of details about like other attacks leading, like me neither. Between 9/11 and and like the killing of Bin Laden. Yeah. I don't know any of this kind of stuff. You can see uh, a lot of it I wasn't alive for. A lot of it I just didn't, you know, wasn't exposed to it, which is probably better as a kid. But You warned them they didn't take you seriously. This is what happens. It's not on you. This is on me. Amar is on no, me. No, 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 no. Jeez, man. He's not going to talk about attacks in the homeland. He's going to withhold operational details on the KSM network and probably been lauded. So what can we get him to talk about? Isolation. He doesn't know we failed. We could tell him anything. Yeah. Oh, oh that's true. smart. He's slept yeah. in. He's clueless. Yeah. yeah. He's gonna be out of it too. You don't remember, do you? Well, short-term memory loss is a side effect of sleep deprivation, so it should come back to you. This is genius. I don't know. How can I remember? After we kept you awake for 96 hours, you gave us the name of some of your brothers, and Ooh. you helped save the lives of a lot of innocent people. Oh gosh. Come on, eat up, man. You flew via Mars. This, this is good. This yeah. is a good idea. This is so good because at, at a certain point you just have to be like, dude, I, I, I already screwed up. I might, yeah, might as well do everything. We tried to get into Torapol but the bombing was too high. We couldn't cross. I'm sorry. Who's the we in that sentence? Be careful. Don't be too inquisitive. Me and some other guys who were hanging around at that time. You know, I can always go and eat with some other dude hanging back up to the ceiling. Hamza Rabia. Okay, we got a name, dude. That's. That's huge. Khabab al Masri and Abu Ahmed. Who's Abu Ahmed? I've heard of the other guys. He was a computer guy with us at the time. After Torah Baram. And I feel like you can trust this intel. I want. Probably. Yeah. I mean, now look, if he's genius, maybe not, but still. What's his family name? Abu Ahmed al Kuwaiti. Abu Ahmed means father of Ahmed. It's a kunya. I know the difference between a war name and an Arabic name. <laughs> I swear to you both, I don't know his family name. My uncle told me he worked for Ben Laden. I did see him once, about a year ago in Karachi. That's the best lead we got so far. He read the solo letter from the Shah. He said, continue the jihad. The work will go on for a hundred years. You and I are talk about some of the guys in the training camps, okay? He's real? Oh, me? Mm, really? Some of these brothers have done some bad things. No, ass. no. I thought they were gonna show some. I was like, dude, no way. Do you know anything about the different, like, the Arab war names versus, like, the real names or something? No. I okay, don't somebody know. tell us in the comments because I've never heard of that, but I want to know more about this kind of stuff. Like, they adopt a name or something yeah. like that? Yeah. Is this Abu Ahmed? Okay, so do we have. Is she trying to compare like the information? I would assume so. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, listen, that, that name does come up all the time. Yep. So it has to be. Yep. Oh, wow. This 
facilitators come and go, one thing you can count on in life is that everyone wants money. <laughs> You're assuming that Al Qaeda members are motivated by financial rewards. Yeah, in this situation, radicals. yeah, that could be different. Yeah. You're assuming that uh, greed won't override ideology in some of the it weaker ones. That is true. For some of the weaker ones. Money for walk ins worked great in the Cold War. I'll give you that. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, listen, yeah, I mean. Throughout history, money has usually won out. So. Of course, I, I, I. It's also just cool to, to to like see all these experts in their field have very different approaches and very yeah. different thought processes. It's just very real and, and it's cool, right? Yeah, it's like look, they have different opinions, different thoughts. They have different ideas of what does and doesn't work. Me not so. This is Abu Ahmed. Oh. He says it looks like Abu Ahmed. Who did he work for? Mami, can you still a lot? It was mostly with Abu Faraj. They were always together. Okay. What did he do for Faraj? She can be Amalla. He sent messages from Abu Faraj to Bin Laden and Bin Laden to Abu Faraj. He carried messages from Abu Faraj to Bin Laden. She was more led on Abu Faraj. Muhammad, Ahmad, Samir, and Khalil and Saeed. He just told me the names of all of Abu Faraj's children. Oh my gosh. I think he's telling the truth. 20 detainees recognize that photo of Abu Ahmed. They say he's yeah. part of an okay, inner so that's him. That's gotta be him. That's for him for sure. Pre or as close as we could be sure of. When KSM was captured, he went to work for Abu Faraj. Well, that's good, but you still yeah, but we don't know if Abu's on the outside of the network, a series of cutouts and dead drops, or if he has a direct yeah, connection. Yeah, 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 yeah. We know that he's important. The fact that everybody's heard of Abu Ahmed, but nobody will tell me where he is suggests that. That's true, actually. Detainees could withhold his location for any number of reasons. Perhaps they don't know. All Perhaps of them, Abu's though? Perhaps actually a cover story, and he's really a fucking unicorn. The withholding doesn't reveal what you want it to, does it? No. I mean, that could be true, yeah. If you did find him, you don't know that he'd be with Bin Laden. But we don't know what we don't know. The fuck is that supposed to mean? <laughs> it's exactly, exactly what, what it means. It means. <laughs> <laughs> it's a It's like saying, yeah. Like, we actually don't. Not one single detainee has said that he's been located with the big guy, just that he delivers messages. Am I wrong? No. No. It's still good work. Let me know when you guess maximal intelligence. Look, Perhaps that's fair. Something that leads to a strike. Right? Like, that is fair. I mean, it's yeah, good I mean, to have somebody can't... in charge who is that critical. Because yeah. it's like, dude, I think he's right. She's got a great lead, but it's not actual intelligence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even though he does seem like a little bit, like, a little jerky, it's like, well, you know, sometimes you got to be. And Somebody who challenges you to to get more intel. Yeah, and everyone's under intel. pressure and stuff like that. Not to mention they can't they can't like organize a raid or something like sure. with no actual sure. intel, you know. And and I don't know if they're ever going to go into it, but I guarantee you he has so much pressure from higher ups being I'm like sure, we yeah. need to do a strike, visual, whatever the political Oh, holy. Oh, is this a uh, I think I remember this one, right? The number 10 bus which is traveling pretty. through Tavistock Square near holy. Houston station. There'd been explosions. Dozens of the survivors were critically injured. Yeah, I mean they're showing. Yeah. What he what he's feeling right now. There's a now a large flash of light. We can't recall anything prior to that. Anymore. Yeah, they all gotta feel this pressure. Yeah. Every day they don't get any intel. More people die. Groups of Londoners asking themselves, "What is Captain here?" You too. Come on. <laughs> you wait and see, guys. Twist. Detainees ready for you. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> That's what you get, bro. That's what you get for teasing him. Monkeys just be grabbing stuff. I had you picked up instead of killing you because you're not a violent man and you don't deserve to die. Thank you. <laughs> but you do have deep ties to Al Qaeda I want to ask you about before you get sent to your next location, which might be Israel. Mm. Depending on how candid you are, I may be able to keep you in Pakistan. Well, you want to know? I'm going to ask you a series of questions based on your knowledge of Al-Qaeda and your position as key financier for the organization. Wow. Whoa. That's huge. I have dealt with the Mohammed. I have no wish to be tortured again. Ask me a question. I will answer it. In what context have you ever heard the name Abu Ahmed? He works for Faraj and Bin Laden. Okay. He is his most trusted courier. That's something big. That's huge. Because he's Don't the most trusted now. What makes you say that? He brought me many messages from the Sheikh. Where did you last see him and where is he now? He would never find him. Why is that? Come on. Even I couldn't find him. He always contacted me out of the blue. Shoot. He is one of the disappeared ones. Mm. But it seems it, it seems like there's something there. It does seem like he's very like he's important. He's the one. It, he's the thing to be chasing. Yeah, it's very important. It feels. Dang. Now, is this guy going in for a bombing? Because they said something about, like, hopefully we won't have to use it. So maybe they won't? Or is that just... Yeah, I don't know. Because why else? Yeah, for, right? Like, how is he going to... 
Is he gonna get info somehow? Is he gonna figure stuff out? Maybe he's just, yeah, getting info on like what it looks like in there, figuring out how many people or something like that. And then if he gets found out, they might blow it. Oh, oh. You're in luck. I got you one on one with Farage. What? Seriously? Thank Don't you. Don't you thank me until you hear what I want for it. I want you to take care of all this before your favorite subject. <laughs> Deal. That's crazy. Don't you want to see what's in the folder? You want family ties, financial networks, health status, financial resources, <laughs> trade cards. <laughs> Anything else? No, I think that covers it. Yeah. She's good. Cool, cool. <laughs> what do you like to be called? Farage? Farage? You guys like a bit of Bob Marley? Kick back, take it easy after blowing some shit up? I didn't realize they had Farage. That's kind of crazy. You're the UK bombings, right? The problem is the, well, the it's second about connecting it back. You know, that's like the biggest thing I feel. So it's like. But now we have some more info. Can I be honest with you? I'm bad fucking news. <laughs> I'm not your friend. I'm not going to help you. I'm going to break you. Any questions? No? Are you only eating 18 hours? You hungry? Mm. Oh gosh. <laughs> Is that. Dang. A lot of brothers told us Abu Ahmed was bin Laden's courier and that he worked very closely with you. You are thinking of Abu Khalid. Who? Abaluchi, my courier for the Sheikh. Oh no, did we get. Is he screwing with us or is this. Okay. I feel like. So you're telling me. All the other brothers Yeah, are like there's so many other people that were recognizing him without communication. Mm. Like, I, there's no way I'm going to trust him. <laughs> what does this Bellucci guy look like? Yeah, bro. Tall, long white beard. Oh well, yeah, that's, we definitely saw. That's, <laughs> definitely saw him in a few pictures. Specific. Kind of like Gandalf. Who? <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't give you that, bro. When was the last time you saw him? A month ago in Karachi. He's talking way too easily for being how high level yeah, come he is. on. Yeah, this is like, such this BS. Is great. But I don't know where he is now. He would just tell me where to leave the messages. Ooh. Your life is going to be very uncomfortable until you give me the information I need. Ooh. Where exactly is Abu Ahmed living at the moment? Gosh. <laughs> but this is the guy that definitely has the info. Dude. The character changed though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's like focused on her goal now or something, you know? It's using every measure we have. Well, he's either gonna keep withholding, he's gonna die from the pressure you're putting on him. Hey, you wanna take a run at him? Nope. Since when? No. You know, I was meaning to tell you I'm getting out of here. What? Oh, what? That's sudden. What do you mean? You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just, you know, I think I've seen too many guys make it. It's gonna be over a fucking hundred at this point. I need to go and do something normal for a while. That's what I was actually thinking. I was like, this this job has like to have what? such an effect on you. No, yeah, I'm sure they have to go through stuff the afterwards to try works. to the counseling and stuff like that. It's probably mandatory. You should come with me. Yeah, be my number two. You're looking a little strung out yourself. I'm not gonna find Abu Ahmed from DC. <laughs> yeah, she's determined. She's trying to get work done, like you were before. They killed my monkeys. What? There's some bullshit about escaping. You fucking believe that? Dang. Sorry, Dan. Mm, you know. <laughs> Look, Maya, you gotta be real careful with the detainees now. Okay, politics are changing, and you don't want to be the last one holding a dog collar when the oversight committee comes. Mm. I know. Yeah? And what's your back when you get back to Pakistan? Everyone knows you there now. Jeez, man. Mm. Be careful, mm. dude. Sorry, fucking checkpoints. We're socialized and be social. <laughs> okay. I know Abu Ahmed is your baby, but it is time to cut the umbilical cord. There are still cells in London and Spain. I can work on it at the same time. <sighs> the fact that Faraj withheld on Abu Ahmed is very revealing. The only other thing Faraj lied about was the location of Bin Laden. Faraj thinks Abu Ahmed is just as important That's to the cult as Bin Laden. I like, dude. It's cool to see this because it's there's so much of like trying to figure out information through not figuring out information. Yeah. It's not just like, oh, you beat the guy up and he tells you everything, you know? Where's Jack? I'm probably stuck in some checkpoint somewhere. You two hooked up yet? Hello, I work with him. You got any friends at all? Not with this job. Well, at least how she, how she does it. She <laughs> seems how she does hardcore it, yeah. focused. That's okay. Ooh! Holy! I was wondering when that was going to happen. Just gotta get out. Jeez, man, yeah, there, that was for you. <laughs> Careful. What if Don't they go like at the entrance. Oh, sucks for all these people, man. Jeez. Jeez. Go, 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 go. 
Hopefully they're not like waiting out there. Or Whoa! Holy! I mean, that's what always happens, right? With this kind of stuff, is that you have all these innocent people who get caught in the middle of it, yep. and that's why war is a horrible thing. Yep. The blast left a crater 10 meters or 30 feet wide in front of the hotel. The driver of the truck bomb tried to talk his way past when armed guards said no. Police said the driver detonated more than 2,000 pounds And that's why it didn't blow the whole hotel yep. to, to hell. Crazy, crazy, man. That's crazy. The Jords have a mole. He made this video to prove his bona fides. What? Hamam Khalil Al-Balawi. He's a Jordanian doctor. He's right there in the inner circle. Didn't you tell me yourself nobody turns on Al-Qaeda? The Jords have worked him for a year. Dinners, money, they convinced him it's his patriotic duty. Yeah. He may be full of shit, but we have to talk to him and find out. The key is to meet him so we can figure out for ourselves what he can actually do. <laughs> yeah. He really asked for a dialysis machine. Maybe we can fill the damn thing with poison. The meeting with Malawi's off. They can't come to Islamabad. Dang. He's not going to travel. Security risk. So can we go to him? He wants us to go to him. He's got a clean passport. He's not going to travel out of Al-Qaeda territory. Mm -hmm. You're not going to him. I'm not, believe me. Is she? We're stuck. So risky. She might be. It's That's so, so risky. risky. What about Cap Chapman? Afghanistan. That could be safe territory. Okay. I think the money is persuasive. Okay, okay, okay. $25 million. Do you think he might be exaggerating his access? Who's this, though? Possibly. I don't know, someone that we're with. But Al Qaeda needs doctors. He could be called in to treat bin Laden. 25 mil on the table. I think he gives up the big man. Uh, maybe. And if he doesn't, we kill him. It's possible. It's so real. <laughs> this, is so, this is so real. None of these things happen immediately. Yeah. Is he not coming? Oh, Shit. Oh, that God. was such a huge lead. Dang it. Please be him. Please be him. It looks like it, but it could be anyone. Uh, it could be a car bomb for all we know. Who knows? Yeah. Just driving up. You might have spooked him already. Sorry, I can't explain, but it's for a good cause. Shoot. Yeah, yeah, he can't yeah, miss yeah. He, it's, it's a base. I just need them to go away for a minute. You can search him as soon as he gets here. Yeah, then he's nah, inside. Dude. Nah, dude. It's a military That's so base. scary. All stations. This is Whiplash. Go ahead and stand down. Oh. That's, That's actually so such a huge risky. risk. That's so we're just letting them drive into our freaking base. Uh, are there supposed to be two people? Yeah, here's the other person. I think this is not going to go well. This is going to go badly. I'm surprised that you let a car come in here, you know? Gonna search him when he gets here. Sure. If he has a car bomb, it doesn't matter. Okay, this is a driver, I guess. Is that a okay. Is he supposed to run like that? Get your hand out of your pocket. Oh, uh, come on. No! No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, no. Dude, that's why, man. Seven. Suicide bombing at a base in Afghanistan. Freaking dude. The Associated Press has learned that the chief of the CIA's post in the province is among the victims. Former officials say she was the mother of three. Oh my gosh. It's unfortunate, man. Like, like I understand that it was such a big lead, but like, I, I. <sighs> But we were too risky, man. Yeah, and, and that's why, bro. And, like, and it's hard. Of course, it's hard. You don't want people to die. There's all this pressure. But geez, the moment you let up, bro, it's just. Jeez, that's horrible. You okay? I um didn't think this stuff could get any worse. <laughs> Great. But uh, bad news from Saudi intelligence. The um, courier guy Abu Ahmed oh, no. is dead. It's a detainee video. All her. 
all her research. Are you serious? What happened? Did somebody get to him? He's dead. Oh. What? 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 Wait, can we confirm this? Yeah, because it's only one guy. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I'm not sure how... Sorry, Maya. I always like this lead. Shoot. But it does seem like such a, like, bad... How should I say, like... It definitely casts a huge shadow of doubt on the lead. Yeah, and just the fact that, like, we lost a lot of our... Not only our, our manpower, but also, like, our initial, like, push that we had going. Sorry, I just got here. Shoot. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna smoke everybody involved in this op. <laughs> and then I'm gonna kill Bin Laden. Well, I feel like, yeah, it's like you have That's to That's a motivating factor right there. Yeah. What? If you thought there was some secret cell working Al-Qaeda, then I want you to know that you're wrong. This is it. There's no working group coming to the rescue. <laughs> There's nobody else hidden away on some other floor. There is just us. Yep. And we are failing. Not without trying, though. I mean, obviously. They murdered 3,000 of our citizens in cold blood. And they have slaughtered our forward deployed. And what the fuck have we done about it, huh? <sighs> we have 20 leadership names. We've only eliminated four of them. I want targets. Do your fucking jobs. Bring me people to kill. Yeah. There's your, there's your pressure, right? Yep. It's rough, you know? Everyone's frustrated. It's like, sure. you can't. Is this our new... Hi. I painstakingly come through everything in the system and found this. Oh. It's him. Ibrahim Saeed. He was picked up for fake papers on route to Kuwait. Abu Ahmed al-Kuwaiti. This must be Abu Ahmed. So he's not dead? Yeah. Doesn't matter. I wish I had that five years ago. How come I never saw it before? Nobody saw it, most likely. There was a lot of white noise after 9-11. We got a million tips. Sure. Human error. <laughs> anyway, I thought you should know about it. I've heard a lot about you. You inspired me to come to Pakistan. Dang, man. Hmm. Yeah. Dan, Debbie found Abu Ahmed. This poor guy's really? like, I'm not doing this anymore, yeah, man. It's a the whole time. The family's nice. name I is shaved. Funny. I got a life. Like, but he's uh, he's dead. He may not be. We now know Abu Ahmed is one of eight brothers. All the brothers in the family look alike. Three of them went to Afghanistan. Great. The picture we've been using is wrong. It's of his older brother Habib. He's the one that's dead. Mm. That's a lot. That's a big stretch. We just have a detainee who said he buried a guy. But if someone as important as Abu Ahmed had died. They'd be talking about it online. Plus, the detainees said that Habib died in 2001. Okay. Abu Ahmed was alive then, trying to get into Tora Bora with them all. That means it's probably one of the other brothers. Yeah, that's the fact that so it's hard to track, though, now. If there's that, that many hard brothers, and they all... Like, look, they're going to look similar. State your request. Move heaven and earth and bring me this fucking Saeed family's phone number. Jeez. Okay, we're going to talk to the wolf. Salam alaikum. Alaikum salam. I need a couple hundred thousand bucks. Where are you gonna get that? From you. You think so? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This could crack open the facilitator Maya's been looking for by giving us a phone number. She's your killer, Wolf. You put her on the field. <laughs> As you know, Abu Ghraib and Gitmo fucked us. The detainee program is now flight paper, and the director is very concerned. Okay. They will not stop until they have a body. I ran it. I'll defend it. Good for him, man. Putting his putting his own name on the line. Yeah. I respect that. And he yeah, didn't yeah, have yeah. to, and he was safe now. I tell you what, man, it's good to be back in Kuwait. It's good to see you again. Now it's been a while. Get a phone number from him? Hopefully. I need a favor. Why I should tell you? Because we're friends. Because money. <laughs> How come you only call me when you need help? Because we're not friends because and we both know something. it. Here's money. <laughs> you are too busy to pick up the phone. I don't think we are friends. All right, fair enough. Yeah. How about a B10 Lamborghini? <laughs> yeah. How's that for friendship? Yeah, bro. Four o'clock, I had to get out of bed. <laughs> All right. Yeah. That's a way to get somebody to talk. What are you thinking? I think I will choose this one. It's a nice choice, my friend. Speed yellow. Go big or go home, huh? <laughs> nice choice. Saeed. Who is it? What do you think? As a terrorist. His mother lives here. I just need her phone number. Yep. There will be no repercussions in Kuwait. I think somebody might die at some point in Pakistan. You gonna feel? Ittafagna. Ittafagna. Huh. 
That's a really cool shot. Yeah. That's really cool. And the audio. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's cool. So do we call them and we're like trying to get intel? I assume so. Dang. Maybe we're trying to trace it or something or trying to figure out where they are. Hey, Jack. Saeed family call in progress, but you're not going to like this. Oh, no. The ground branch guys are dragging their heels. Why haven't you deployed a team? For one thing, it's dangerous. For another, the area is too congested for us to be effective without some predictive intelligence. I don't have the personnel. That's bullshit, man. Yeah. Yes, it is. My guys don't get any sleep tracking the threats with the right time. I understand. But, you know, I don't really care if your guys get sleep or not. Uh, yeah, well, Maybe you should have said that in front of them. <laughs> they're the guys that ha have to work for you, essentially. This guy you're obsessed with, what's his name again? Ibrahim Saeed. Wasn't it like eight brothers and a million cousins that we know about? <laughs> Anyone could be calling home. I know. I mean, it's not like he's saying, hey, mom, it's me, the terrorist. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's know, the problem. But he's called from six different pay phones. He said that he was in a place in the country with bad cell reception, when in fact, he was in a market in Peshawar. Ooh. I'm sorry, but that's not normal guy behavior. That's tradecraft. That is true. Well, maybe he just doesn't like his mom. <laughs> Look, if he talks about an operation or refers to anything remotely fishy, I'll get on it. But he would never do that to his mom, do or like the chances are so Abu small. Ahmed is too smart to tip his hand by talking about ops on the phone. Yeah. He works for bin Laden. The guys that talk about ops on the phone don't get that job. Yeah. That's that's fair for her to say. If this yeah. if he is the guy that we think he is, he would never say it on the phone. A lot of my friends have died trying to do this. I believe I was spared so I could finish the job. <laughs> I like how long all of this stuff takes too. Like the, the fact that it's like, what, how, how many years has it been? Like eight or nine years for not even close to Bin Laden, but like yeah. this other guy that we think we have a theory is connected to Bin Laden. That's how it be. Shoot. Police hope to find the man who wanted so badly last night to leave a body count. Jeez. I really need to talk to you about beefing up our surveillance operation on the collar. Someone just tried to blow up Times Square and you're talking about some facility. He's the key to Bin Laden. He's the only lead we have. Or maybe not only, but... I don't fucking care about Bin Laden. Yeah, I don't think they're gonna... I care about the next attack. Yeah, I think they're yeah. focused on protecting the... The homeland. The people, yeah. Protect the homeland. Bin Laden is the one who keeps telling them to attack the homeland. If it wasn't for him, Al-Qaeda would still be focused on overseas targets. But it's like, how plausible is it to get yeah. there? Yeah, it's of course, so of hard. Of course, of course, of course. This guy never met Bin Laden. This guy's a freelancer working off the fucking internet. No one's even talked to Bin Laden in four years. He's Jeez. out of the game. He may well even be dead. You're chasing a ghost. You just want me to nail some low-level mola crackadola so you can check that box on your resume that says you got a real terrorist. Oof. Either give me the team or the other thing you're going to have on your resume is being the first station chief to be called before a congressional committee Ooh. for subverting the efforts to capture or kill Bin Laden. You're fucking out of your mind. Four texts in a safe house in Ralpindi. in Peshwar. Or send me back to D.C. and explain to the director why you did it. Dang. It's interesting, but I do understand both sides. I do. And I think she is a little insane. But at the same time, you need a little bit of that to get stuff done. Yeah, and you know, sometimes you, you get it, you know? Yesterday, you called about himself a cell phone, and every time his phone rings, his phone will ring. Ooh. Did I hook you up? Did I? <laughs> <laughs> My guess is that he lives close to where he's making the calls. Ralph Pindi, because there's an Al Jazeera office, he leaves the house, walks a few blocks, and switches on the phone. Yeah, that makes sense. We need to keep canvassing the neighborhood until we find him. That's going to be so hard to find. It is going to be really hard, but hey, listen, if anyone can do it. Oh. Oh, oh, what the heck is this? What, what? We got a shooter. Uh oh. What, 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 what? They figured it out. Oh, go, 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 oh, shoot. Let me talk to them. Show your shabab. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Please work. They said watch bases don't belong here. If they don't move, shoot them. Okay, hopefully this is just some tension. Oh. Good. Dang. Try the market. Okay. Okay. Fuck. I'm so worried something's gonna go south, dude. This is so sketchy. We got a signal on Tipu Road for 10 minutes. No Gaza Road, no Umar Road area. And Rawalpindi had a road 
Rumi Road. Is there any pattern to it? He made a call from Hepper Street. That's the Spice District. Nishtarabad 5. It's so hard Shoot. to find him, though. Yeah, like, it's, it's a pretty wide area he's making calls with, too. Maybe where there's less people, you know, catch him. There's no pattern. Yeah, there is no. Sometimes he calls every two weeks, sometimes every three. There's no consistency. I can't predict when he's going to make another call because the guy's erratic. And he's doing that on purpose. There's no... <sighs> Shoot. Dang. Yep. The CIA's top spy in Pakistan has been pulled out of there after being named publicly in a lawsuit by the family Shoot. of a victim of a U.S. drone attack. Dang. Shoot. The officer is returning to the U.S. after the decisions made right? yeah. the terrorist threats against him. I, I fucked you. I'm so sorry, Joseph. Dang. Wait, so when she says ISI, is she saying that, like, th this was, like, a political move to get him out? Uh, I would think that just the whole, like, public thing, like... Okay. 20, 15, 10, signal's getting weaker. Shoot, shoot, we just passed him, bro. We lost him. Shoot. Heading south. Keep a lookout, keep a lookout, come on. 15, 20. Oh, oh. He's moving fast. Is he in a car? Yeah, yeah, kay. yeah, he's got to be. Okay, okay. He shifted. Shoot. Shoot. I don't get it. He's driving his surgeons. Is he? It's almost easier in a vehicle. I feel like there's more people on foot than vehicles. Yeah, you might just need to find uh, one of the suspicious looking. Yeah. But be careful. Now let's hope he comes back around. And now we just wait and <gasps> see when it gets stronger. Is it? Is it? Come on. Because that means it should get strong. It should be get um, closer by itself, right? Yep. Okay. Hey. 15, 20, 30. Oh, gosh. 40. No, it's still getting 50. Cool. Dude. We're within 10 meters of it. Well, look, look around. Look where around. Is There's got to be 10 meters. It's got to be like right. It's right there. Where? Back that car? That. He's here somewhere. Well. Look at the car. She's in the vehicle. This one? It's got to be or something, right? The guy with the phone in a white car. Is Dude. He? Now stop and see if he goes farther away. Is that him? Could be. You got him? Got him. Okay, break him up. That was him. That for sure. Uh -huh. The guy you've been looking for, geolocated on his cell phone in his white car. Thank you. <laughs> That's insane. If you're right, the whole world's going to want in on this. So you got to stick to your guns down. Yeah, after going through all this, come on. Of course. But th that's exactly how it is too, right? Yep. It's like, oh, you know, you do all this work, nobody believes you. And the moment you have a lead, everybody wants to be involved. Of course. Let me have a look. Um, what are you doing, buddy? Why don't we say 130? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, can, can you uh, just hold hello? the line, please? I can have... you do your job, please? I need a picket line along the GT highway. I'm in spaced at intervals. I know. So you agree with me now? This is important. No, I just learned from my predecessor that life is better when I don't disagree with you. <laughs> All right, we gotta find this. We gotta find this. Is that it? That is it's it. it. Yeah, hundred percent. Hundred percent. It. Thank goodness. Kashmir is interesting because it's a way station for the tribals. Okay. Abbottabad is interesting because Abu Faraj stayed there briefly in 2003. Dude, we're on to it. We're, we're on to it. it. SUVs are actually pretty rare in Pakistan. Thank goodness. Obviously, this assumes he doesn't change vehicles. That's true. Who are we sending this to? Just logging it, maybe, or sending it back home. Good morning. Morning, Mob. Oh, no. I get nervous seeing anything like this. It's like, why are we yeah. seeing her car? Why are we seeing any of this? this someone could, could do something. Oh, no. Be careful. Oh, oh, shoot. Watch out, dude. Watch out. Get down. Get down. Shoot. Go back. Go back. Get back into the embassy or whatever. Your, your place, your place, your place. Shoot. Close the gate. They know who she is. Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, it's hard, right, when you're in a foreign country. It's Any pretty American obvious. in Pakistan is a target. They don't necessarily know I'm CIA. It's true. It doesn't okay. matter. You're on a list. Shoot. And you of all people should know that once you're on their list, you never get off. Next time, there may not be bulletproof glass to save you. That's crazy. We'll keep up on the surveillance as best we can. Dang, man. 
So she's got to go home, right? Or no? Uh, I mean, maybe, maybe she not. wants to risk it. Hey, it's hey. Like, there's so much like luck and stuff involved. Like the fact that it's like, oh, he's in an SUV and stuff like that. Yeah, That's yeah, so yeah. crazy to me. Nice. <gasps> Is that no way? No way. Do this be the place? Dude, this looks like a place of residence. Maybe not, but that's insane. I think that be the place. Looks like it. It's got the walls and everything. Dude, that's huge. Did you get it? The high res version. Can you get closer than that? Hey, God bless this image. <laughs> I'll take that. Thank you very much. Oh, so she. So she did come back. Yeah. They got it, bro. They did. But do we want him alive or do we are we just gonna take him out? Like I think we want him alive, right? Boy, does he have a really nice house? But is wait, that it? pretty much. Does he even do we even need to get him? Let's go talk to the boss. Oh. Sir. We got a 16 foot wall around the entire perimeter. Dude, it's gotta be where Bin it's Laden is. Can't you put a camera somewhere in these trees here? Maybe get a look at the main house? It would probably be discovered. Let's yeah. See. That's what makes it complicated. Well, we have to get a look into the house, don't we? Just wait it out. See who comes in and out. What's this? This cluster of buildings down here. By the PMA, it's the Pakistani Military Academy. Okay. It's their West Point. And how close is that to the house? Maybe use it to get like a... 4,221 feet. It's closer to eight tenths of a mile. Who? Who are you? I'm the motherfucker that found this place. Yeah. <laughs> really? He's like, why did you say that? All right, I want to know more about who's inside this house by the end of the week. Sir? <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> Good. I mean, I get it, you know? It's like, she freaking did all the work. Of course, dude. And now she's back here and everybody's like, oh, who did? It's like, dude, I would be taking credit like that, too. Also, it just feels in character for her, which is it, which is the most important. Morning, George. It's been 21 days since we found the house. Nothing's happened. <laughs> yeah, you guys are the ones always complaining about freaking getting results. She got results. Let's do something with it. Like, what can you do? Shoot. Just wait it out. Was <laughs> that all you can do? I mean, someone's got to come out of that house. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, Bye, it's there's Steve. no way. Swing by. I want to show you something. How long are they going to stay in there? So remember, we've got two males, two females, and seven kids. I'm saying that's Bushra, the brother's wife. It takes her about four seconds to move from there to the front door. So she's on the older side. Oh my gosh, man. Okay. Those are kids. They're shuffling around, sword fighting or something with sticks. These are cows. Females moving fast. Okay, that's what I wanted to show you. Can we pause this, please? That's not the same lady. What? That's female number three. So you found two males, three females. That's correct. So if there are three females, there ought to be three males. There's got to be someone else in there. Observing Muslim women live with their parents or with their husbands. We think there's a third family living in the house. Ooh. Well, this third male that you've identified as possibly being bin Laden, do I give up all hope of ever seeing a photograph of him? Hope? Yeah. yeah. I mean... You give up your hope. Yeah. <laughs> like, look at what we're dealing yeah, with here. We scan for heat signatures, but we can't validate if it's a man or a woman up there. Oh my gosh, dude. We this talked is about crazy. borrowing a pinhole camera, but there's a high risk of discovery. Oh, and then we, we don't can't screw risk that up, it, dude. I know, like, this could be it, house, you know what I'm saying? But we can't get a vantage point to fire a telescope over the balcony wall. Can't we just go in any, like, don't we know these are higher ups anyway? I feel like, right? We started a vaccination program. We sent a doctor to the house, see if he could pull blood. Oh, but he got, uh, yeah, he got kicked out. But that didn't work out. Dang it. And is asking too much to get a voice confirmation with him on the phone. They don't make telephone calls from the compound. Yeah. We pulled Shoot. the cell tower nearby. Because they're, they're going to yeah, be Yeah, look, they, they've done everything. Yeah. I hope that he might ever get in that white SUV and... Drive Take a joy ride. <laughs> <laughs> like, what are you, yeah. like, come on. Don't as he, as he runs the huge the terrorist network. He does not get groceries. He does not leave the compound. He does not present That third person is super important. When he needs fresh air, he paces around beneath a grape arbor. But the leaves are so thick, they obscure our satellite. Dude, then, then it makes you he's so suspicious. Yeah, it's, he's so important then. Yeah. Okay, wow. real trade craft. The only people we've seen behave in this way are other top level Al Qaeda operatives. So he's a top level Al Qaeda he's operative. Be something. You can't prove it's bin Laden, at least prove it's not someone else. Okay. 
Like a drug dealer. He has no internet access. He makes no phone calls. Who's he selling to? Who's he buying from? How's he making his money? Yeah. And if you were to say he's retired, I'd say, where's the swimming pool? <laughs> and why does he send his courier to the two cities in Pakistan we most associate with Al-Qaeda that have nothing particularly to do with heroin production? Yeah. Oh, that's Come on. big. That's good. Yeah, yeah. That's good. How do you evaluate the risk of not doing something? Yeah. The risk of potentially letting Bin Laden yeah. slip through your fingers. And how many more people die because of it? The president wants to know if we were going to act. Howard? Yeah. How would <laughs> Finally, finally, this is where the real stuff gets done, baby. Oh, I get to get to see the uh, stealth, the stealth helicopters. Dang. Technically, these don't exist. Stealth panels, similar to what we use on the B-2. The rotors have been muffled with decimal yeah, killers. The rap. It's slower than yeah. Blackhawk. Lacks the offense and the stability. It's just for stealth. But, but we're sneaking in. Excuse me, but what do we what do we need this for in, in Libya? I mean, Gaddafi's anti-air is virtually non-existent. <laughs> Maya? It's not about anti-air. Maya? Do you want to brief him? Can you imagine finding out this way? We've located an individual we believe is bin Laden's courier. He's living in a house in Abbottabad, Pakistan, and we assess that one of the other occupants is UBL. <laughs> the moment that you find out that's your mission. <laughs> All right. Cool. Don't need to say any more. <laughs> Excuse me. You got an intel source on the ground? No. No? Okay, so how do you know it's bin Laden? Because the truth is, we've been on this op before. It was 07, and it wasn't Bin Laden. And we lost a couple of guys. Oh, that's true. Oh, that's crazy. Bin Laden uses a courier to interact with the outside world. By locating the courier, we've located Bin Laden. That's really the intel. Look, that's the best we got. That's it. Quite frankly, I didn't even want to use you guys. With your dip and your Velcro and all your gear bullshit, I wanted to drop a bomb. But you got to confirm it. Dang. So they're using you guys as canaries. If Bin Laden isn't there, you can sneak away and no one will be the wiser. Hmm. But Bin Laden is there. <laughs> And you're gonna kill him for me. Dang. I don't think we'll get an approval of this decision cycle. I wanna know if she really did this. <laughs> Terror against the world. Oh yeah. I mean he's trying his best to convince he them is. to, you know, it's like it's hard to. Very simply. Is he there or is he not fucking there? Yeah. We all come at this through the filter of our own past experiences. Bro, shut up and just say it. We deal in probability, and I'd say Bro. there's a 60% probability he's there. So no. I concur. 60%. And prob that is what reality is, probability. So. Their OPSEC is what convinces me. Okay, 80%, that's... You guys ever agree on anything? <laughs> no. Well, I agree with Mike. I'd say it's a soft 60, sir. I'm virtually <laughs> certain there's some high value target there. I'm just not sure it's been Laden. I mean, yeah. yeah. Hit him with reality, that's just how well, it is. This is a little bit of a clusterfuck, isn't it? <laughs> I'd like to know what Maya thinks. We're all incorporating her assessment, Dars. 100% he's there. Dang. Okay, fine. 95% because I know certainty freaks you guys out, but it's 100. <laughs> what do you think of the girl? I think she's fucking smart. We're all smart, Jeremy. Yeah, this is this is yeah, so top like, level, it doesn't matter. May I join you? How is the food down here anyway? <laughs> uh, it's okay. How long have you worked for the CIA? 12 years. I was recruited out of high school. Dang. What else have you done for us besides Bin Laden? Nothing. Literally just Bin Laden. I've done nothing else. Well, you certainly have a flair for it. That's crazy. She got hired out of high school? Yeah. Dang, man. That's crazy. That's awesome. It's so funny to me that these helicopters straight up look like spaceships. It's like, I think they designed, and it's, it's an accurate design. It's just funny. That's like when, when real life, the... real life looks like the movie. So, you know no, what I mean? Yeah. Like that's how I would imagine a stealth helicopter, but it's cool that that's how it actually looks. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of things that the, the movies actually get fairly close. Sure. <laughs> you really believe this story? Yeah. What part convinced you? Her confidence. <laughs> yeah. Maya, I wanted you to hear it first. Oh no. You know the thing we talked about? It's gonna happen. What? Oh hey. Dang. All right. Dang. Good luck. Fifty bucks. Can you imagine? Send him in. So did they? They have to go in and confirm before they kill him. Yeah. I, which is yeah. crazy. 
heck, they just might kill him and then confirm. Yeah, that may be how it actually happens. Because, you know, I feel like the one problem with the bomb is that it's like hard to confirm afterwards. I'm nervous and I already know what happens. Yeah. I'm serious. Like, could you imagine? And like, there's gotta be a part of her that's like, what if I'm wrong? I'm, I'm screwed no, if I'm wrong. Like, not only do I want to kill Bin Laden, but I'm screwed if I'm wrong. Yeah. And also like worry for these guys, you know, you of don't know. Like, we don't know what we're walking into here. How close are we going to land though? Cause wouldn't we? Pretty sure we just land right it's, inside. Is that stealth? I don't want to spoil it, but cause I remember what happens. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Hey Justin, what are you listening to? Tony Robbins. <laughs> Who here has been in a helo crash before? <laughs> okay, so we're all good. <laughs> we just crossed the border, now entering Pakistan. Okay. okay. <laughs> Three minutes. Stand by for doors open. Two minutes. Oh man. We're just going in, dude. Uh oh. Shoot. Oh, oh, oh. What? Holy. Shoot, dude. I did not know any of this. <laughs> what the heck? Are you kidding me? The tail. Shoot, that's the last thing we needed is a freaking crash. Black Hawk down on the animal pit. Let's go. Go, 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 go. This mission is still a go. I repeat, we are a go. <laughs> Entry for AC1. Go, 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 go. No ropes, wheels down. Dang. They gotta have heard that though, right? Or maybe I'm crazy. Maybe these things were quieter than I think. I feel like, I mean, I don't know. They might be heavy sleepers. Yeah, but it's like, I feel like you hear them. I feel like you right? The idea is that it's stealth so that you don't hear us a mile away, not like and the once radar. you're outside. Yeah, and the radar. But maybe they can't do anything about it. Yeah. Our room's clear. Careful, we know there's two other guys in here. There's kids, there's everything. There's a lot of stuff, a lot of moving parts. Sniping with the HK. Wonder how that works. Like night vision, but like trying to look through a uh, scope. Yeah. Break yeah, we're not hiding anything. <laughs> Dude, there's no music. There's nothing. I hate this. Execute. Dang. Ooh. I like that we're shooting this in night vision. That's cool. Oh, okay. Be super careful. Ooh, 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 ooh. The sound design is crazy. Ibrahim, come on out! They might have hit him or something. Oh, watch out, watch out. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Oh, oh no. no. They're down! Down, 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 down! Yellow, yellow! Down! Throw your hands in the air! Yellow, down, 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 down! down. Careful, careful. There might. You watch. <laughs> Out. Okay. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Be careful, there's a lot of people. Okay, okay. We're doing good so far. It's clean. It's my lush. My lush. Now, sit down. Still another guy. But they're all watching. Mm. Right on the hole. Fail breach, fail breach. Oh. Back it up, main gate. Dang. Is he watching? Yeah, I think he's like looking. We got an unlocked door. 
This is crazy. I like that it's not just like a, I mean, the, the, as obviously it's real, but it's just crazy how it's not just like a, you go in and kill people. It's like, this is a long and intense operation. Bro! Is that the other guy? I think so. Bro! Careful, dude, he has a gun. He's got a gun, dude. Watch, 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 watch. Okay. Oh, oh gosh. Shoot. Yeah, just reach for the gun, man. We're gonna breach the main gate. Negative. I'll let you guys in. Roger that. Okay. Dang. All right. Yeah, this is a massive compound. Who? Neighbors. Oh, right? oh. Ready to make our entry out here. Yeah, Roger that. We're coming to meet you. Stay with these kids and don't let them in that back room. Okay. 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 And hopefully it's just it was just those three people, right? Yeah, of course, right? We never know. He could have people hiding back here with it who just never left. Good. Yeah, I forgot. Were we supposed to crash that helo? <laughs> <laughs> Dang! Go, go, go! Don't get hurry. Yeah. This is Echo Zero Nine. We have unknowns gathering in the southwest. Yeah, we don't rooftops. know what that is either. Yeah. It could be neighbors. It could be. Something what if he else? had people like yeah. set up or something? Blocking the stairs. Reach your Go, 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 go. This is Echo Zero Five moving to level two. What? Oh. Oh, gosh. I can't get those guys back. Shoot, dude, we got people coming. <gasps> that didn't look that like. That looked like a. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. Khalid. Khalid. Careful, bro. Oh, oh. Oh, dude. I mean, you just... Yeah. You gotta go. We don't know. Oh, he could have had a gun. I, I like how not cool the gunshots sound. I know that's a weird thing. Yeah, I'm trying... I'm assuming they're trying to, like, imitate the whole, like, silencer. Yeah, stuff. but it's yeah. cool because it's yeah. not, like, a movie silencer. It's, it's yeah. not satisfying. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Is that the third woman? That's gotta be. Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. I think so, right? There was three. Yep. So where is he? Now we got this knife. Shoot. Start smoking them. Wait, wait, wait. Whoa. Careful, I mean, you careful, careful, careful. Yeah. Dude, there's a lot of people, dude. If Go back, they will kill you. They will kill you. Go back. Shoot, shoot. Is that? No, it's just... No, no best. All clear. Oh, fucking shit. Oh my gosh, this is huge. Osama. Osama! Osama! That's right. Such a smart tech. No. Is that him? No. Oh, shoot. I think it was. Yeah. Got a possible jackpot. It's okay. They gotta, like, confirm it, though. Yeah, like, of hurry. course. Dude, it's okay. Do you even realize what you just did? Mean who? Hey! What? Yeah, she says it's not him. Talk to the kid. Okay. Don't we have an ID? Yeah, what about DNA and stuff like that too? Is she smart? Me. Shoot. Yeah, just take a picture now. This is Red Zero Two, Geronimo. Hmm. That's insane. That's crazy. All stations, target secure. Target secure. Commence SSE. Ooh. Proper SSE right now. Books, DVDs, CDs. Yeah, Can you imagine? Red. Do not leave the hard drive. Let's go, guys. <laughs> this guy. He's like, I just. He's like, I killed him. <laughs> Yo, what's up? I shot the third floor guy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get to work. Grab a bag. You, uh, right, hurry up and get out of there, out. though, first. Like, and now we don't gotta hide. Pack Air Force is responding. Uh -oh. oh. 14 minutes to intercept. Oh, yeah, we do gotta get out. You're right. Yeah, because even though we don't think that they're on their side, you know. We need a body bag. Hakeem, I got this. Get it to him. Ah, uh, be careful, uh, dude. You should, you should. Okay. How long do you need for SSC? We're gonna need at least 10 minutes, sir. Dang, Echo 05, you have four mics. 
Yeah. yeah. This is a gold mine. I need more time than that. If you're not the LZ at four mics, I'm going to leave your ass behind. <laughs> the packs have scrambled the F-16s. Shoot. So go, 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 go. Just get what you can. Are we going to be able to take off in this thing? I think so. But or just destroy it? Oh, yeah. There were a ton of, oh my gosh. That's a lot of, that's a lot. Yeah, of dude, can you, can you believe that many people were hidden? That was crazy, because they only thought there was like six yeah. people or two kids. How did we not pick that up on heat signatures? Didn't we do that? We probably just can't do the walls or something. Right? Go, go, go. All right, let's move it out. <laughs> he took the gun. Yeah. Let's go now. That's just a bit to leave some of that behind. It's like crazy, but yeah. We all can be a you know, in that one. You've got one mic to pull that down here. Go, 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 buddy, go. And you gotta really make sure because that's such high tech. Oh, oh. You all right? Yeah. Gosh. Oh, people, go! Are they leaving without us? Or do we have another way out? Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, because I don't think we all leave in that. Ooh, dang. Huh. That's crazy. There's got to be a part of you that wants to make sure. Right? Yeah, of course. <laughs> I mean, like, like you were Double like, all right, we were... <laughs> Well done, Patrick. Thank you. Move oh. through. All right, listen up, gentlemen. Oh, yeah. I can't be that Oh, me. Who's got a Sharpie? Dang. Got it. All right. Get in. It's so insane. It's surreal. It's, yeah, it it's is. insane. Because you've been, it's like, she's this, been working on she it She has so been working long. on this. Yeah, more than just the SEALs. She's yeah. been working on this for... And it's great because it's not just him. We got a bunch of intel, too. Yeah. Come on, Mark on media. It's like finally seeing your work kind of like pay off, though. It's like, wow. Life. Her her career. Yeah. Dang. <laughs> That's crazy. The agency expert gave visual confirmation. <sighs> and after losing your friends and stuff like that, that too, Yeah, it's yeah. Like, Are you Maya? <laughs> yeah. That's the only name they gave me. You can sit wherever you want. You're the only one in the manifest. You're getting first class back to the States. You must be pretty important. You got the whole plane to yourself. Where do you want to go? <laughs> Dang. Wow. What an incredible story. Yeah. Like really, in like the that. truest sense of the word, the way they did it, the way they showed it, but but like that's crazy. Yeah. I really liked this movie. Yeah, yeah. This wasn't much of a um uh, it's hard for me to even call it like a war movie. It's yeah. almost like a uh, something else or something. It's like a it's like a spy movie almost. It's weird, but it is. It's it's closer to a spy movie than it Figuring is. Figuring out like, stuff, you know. Yeah, 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 right? Not as much fighting, more like intelligence. Right? But I, I, to be fair, at the same time, that whole ending scene was so well done. That I was. Thought, really I thought that was going to go much faster than it did. I mm -hmm. thought it was like, all right, the fi ending ten minutes is going to be like, oh, we got him, we got Bin Laden. Yeah. But it was like crazy, dude. Yeah, I'm glad that they kind of they put work into that as well. That aspect because that that was a big thing too. You know. Yeah, I um, I just I really like seeing just this side of it, and and it, this movie mm -hmm. did a really good job of not being. I don't think. Uh, maybe people will disagree, but I don't think it was very biased. It showed kind of things how they were. There's some brutal stuff mm -hmm. that that had to happen and had to go on. And I like how you see, you know, I feel like living in the States and stuff like I'm much more familiar with the other side of it. Right. I see the stuff on the news. Mm -hmm. And so to see the other side of like, yeah, they can talk about that. And it is true. But here's what we're dealing with is yeah. very interesting. No, and I don't know. I just I really enjoyed that. Even just the way they showed it. The, the the people's characters the way it affected people her as a character is fast like i'm gonna look stuff up about this real person now because that's just gotta be a fascinating person yeah um just just everything yeah i, I like that they 
covered, you know, the almost it's kind of like the behind the scenes, you know, the the kind of camera work people, you know, the producers and stuff like that. Like all the 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 people that kind of like help in order to um kind of get this thing actually to the stage where it was able to like happen. Sure, because it's know? like I know SEAL Team Six. Never yeah. heard of her before. Ever. No, of course. And it's like she dedicated her entire life to finding Bin Laden. That's yeah. insane. Yeah, and all the people that died, like, they weren't, like, actually, like, in the field, you know? But it was, like, they kind of were, you know how? Yeah, for all like, intents and purposes, they were. Sure. But, you know, those people, it's it's crazy. I mean, they still, yeah, they gave their lives. It was like they were soldiers, you know? Like, just a different type. Yeah. It, 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 but it's, like, the messy type, right? And so it's, yeah. it's, it's like a spy in anything, right? Where it's, like, if you die, they're going to disavow you. They're going to. Yeah. And so it's, like, this, this true heroism of, like... Mm-hmm. You're not even gonna get credit from from people who, and it's like, yeah, of course it's controversial to be a soldier, in in any war at any time, but like to be a spy, I think it's even worse. Yeah, because it's like no one recognizes what you've done, of even course. when you do it well, even something like this. Now, I guess this movie is that, but still, I don't know. It's an interesting kind of like like concept and just the kind of like that moment she has to herself it's it's not mm-hmm. like there's like a big group of cia people being like oh great job dude it's i like, mean i bet you there was <laughs> but she got home <laughs> <I was like, laughs> but just the fact that it's like even after that mission of it's course, like yeah. there's just that moment and it's all her i don't know that's cool yeah it was just interesting to see like how they did it and you know whatever else i am curious to see like or curious to know um, how like true like some of the smaller things were like um you know, for example, like them trying to get into the the side or whatever, and like it not working or stuff something. like that oh, feels all that type legit. Of stuff. Yeah, is like real. I or think like- so, but I don't know. I mean, yeah, I really like the filmmaking of that whole final scene too. The way they did that, it was it was so mm-hmm. tense. Just the directing of this whole movie did yeah, a yeah, really yeah. good job of being up because i feel like the challenge and i felt this a little bit with like black hawk down where it's like even if you are being really like realistic sometimes it's just kind of crazy because that's how real life is real life doesn't have a beginning a middle and an end no yeah the same way that a movie does yeah but i think this movie did a really good job of of melding the two where the Mm -hmm. scenes were very real and i think they didn't feel too hollywoody Mm-hmm. Like it wasn't like there was like slow motion when we shot Bin Laden or something like like yeah it's like, yeah, like yeah, yeah. that but at the same time it was very well structured in a dramatic sense as mm-hmm. well and I thought that was that's I think that's really hard to do and that was really impressive I agree yeah so I don't know I mean let us know what you guys thought let yeah, us cool. know as I was what's real what's not real I, I like or at least like what seems to be accurate as far as that kind of stuff it's always super cool and yeah thank you guys just for being here thank you for joining us for watching if you are new here welcome uh, hopefully you stick around and if you do We will see you all in the next video.